subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. So hello everyone, this is Mandeep Kaur Tangra and today I'm here again with my show, the Mandeep Kaur Tangra Show. Today we are going to shoot 110th episode and today's episode I'm going to have with Mr. Anand and he's a focus and memory coach and I think this is the first time ever I am bringing a focus and memory coach on my show and first of all Mr. Anand welcome to the show. Thank you thank you ma'am thank you for having me here. So first of all I would like to know a little bit about your background from where you belong in the nation and I know you have been to different countries you are serving a lot of elite clients but still from where the journey started okay so I was uh, born in Hyderabad so that's my hometown to say so but now it's like you know wherever I am that's my hometown actually but then uh, I left Hyderabad in about 99 I was in uh, Delhi for a couple of years and then I moved to Malaysia and there I was there for about 12 years okay. so I mean if you just look at the geography kind of thing and then I'm back in Delhi uh, now I am in Vishakhapatnam I call it my COVID destination now. Oh, <laughs> supposed right. to be in Delhi but I'm here uh, that's the journey part but uh, I started uh, my journey as a hardcore memory expert mm-hmm. Now, what I mean by hardcore memory expert is that, you know, I can remember anything. It really doesn't matter what. And I can help people to remember anything. It really doesn't matter what they want to remember. Mm -hmm. Maybe it may be amusing to know that, you know, I'm helping people to learn Spanish without knowing a single word of Spanish. There's a girl in Pune. I'm helping her to learn German. And I don't know a single word of German. And her German teacher is surprised how this girl is able to pick up so fast. Mm -hmm. First year of German, she's actually seeing German documentaries to enhance her skill. Right. So this is what happens is like you have a strategy, you have a tool you can uh, learn. So that is what I help people to remember anything and everything, whatever they want to remember. Yeah, that's right. typically that. Yeah. So Mr. Anand, if I talk about my own self, I have over 1 million people following me and every day I get a lot of messages and I always have a lot of visitors in my office. With time, what I felt at the age of, I'm not even 35 right now, but already I have lost the way I should remember things. So I am unable to remember so many things. So I think you are going to become a god for me. I can take a lot of tips from you after this episode, right? You were there at Limka Book of Records also. So what was all that record about and throw some light on it? So uh, this was uh, back in 97. Mm-hmm. And the record was all about remembering names and telephone numbers. Okay. So in those days, there were no standard telephone numbers, like, you know, 10 digit numbers. So there used to be a four or five digit STD code, and then you have a five or six digit local number. Mm -hmm. So, and all these numbers, which have remembered, they are not from any phone book, Mm -hmm. not from my people that, okay, I remember 200 numbers, not like that. It's Mm -hmm. in the auditorium and they have been invited by the people and it was an event which was created. And I went into the auditorium. I asked, okay, what's your name? What's your number? Mm -hmm. What's your name? What's your number? So all the 75 people out there. And then... I went back onto the stage and of course there's a guy who was actually, you know, writing down all the numbers, names and those days Cyclostyle used to be there. I don't know if people, most of the people know it or not. It was like semi-Xerox kind of a thing, manual kind of a Cyclostyle. So they have done the Cyclostyle and distributed the papers to everybody. Mm -hmm. And I went back on stage. People have of course changed the places and if somebody called out the name, I gave the number. Mm -hmm. And if somebody called the number out, I gave the name. Okay. And if somebody put up the hand up, I say, okay, you're Mr. Pankaj and your number is this, 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 this. Mm-hmm. So it was tested in all ways. And I was, I was going all right. And until a guy uh, said, okay, he's read out a number. Mm-hmm. I said, I'm sorry, this number is not here. He says, no, no, no. I'm reading it. I'm reading So I was again reading the same number with the same speed. I was like, okay. So it was like, you know, record at stake. I was like, mm-hmm. are you sure the number is there? He said, yeah, it's there right in front of me. And then I took a time, I, mean, it, I probably took over two minutes time. Then I said, this is number of Mr. Prabhakar in reverse order. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this guy was just, you know, testing. It is not that he want to put me down. It was just trying to see, I mean, this guy can, can he really do that? Mm-hmm. So I was also recalling the number in the reverse order also. I mean, that was one, one of kind of a thing, but then I mm-hmm. realized that, that that was the number I could, uh, you know, give it out. So that was a record and the good part is it is still unbroken. Mm-hmm. Nobody has came even closer to that. So I still hold that 
Yeah. Right. How did you become a memory coach at such an early age? Somebody is a coach at the age of 30, 40, 50, but you started coaching people at very early age of 17, 18. So yeah. how did that happen? Were you learning any techniques? How did you learn all this? Okay, great. Memory has been a family hobby. Mm-hmm. Like me, my brother, my dad, all of us into doing some kind of memory tricks and memory feats and memory demonstrations. So uh, I never thought that I'll become a coach or you know, I'll be training and nor I did not attend any school like, okay, how to speak, how to present, zero, nothing mm-hmm. of that sort. We come from very, you know, very simple background. My father was a government employee. My mother was a teacher mm-hmm. and we just like any normal next door person, you know, so uh, there was no extra skills. So what used to happen was when people, I used to do some demonstrations, people used to ask, hey, how can you do that? Were you born with this? I said, no, no, I've learned it. Oh, you've learned? Can you teach us? Yeah, of course. So it was so easy for me that I was just telling what Mm -hmm. I am doing. Mm -hmm. So I don't need a skill or I don't need any presentation tool. So this is how I do it. So, Mm -hmm. and then it started getting popularity and then unknowingly, I, you know, I've become a trainer. <laughs> so I've, I've started helping people on memory those days. So that is how it has become. And uh, the best thing which happened was like, uh, I was about less than 18 years old. My dad was conducting workshops. I used to assist my dad. My brother was doing workshops. We two, three of us together used to do some workshops. And that time it was very busy time. So there was uh, one assignment which came up, which is 400 kilometers away from my location. Mm-hmm. So my dad said that, okay, we are busy. Anand, you go and handle it. I said, that was my first uh, training supposed to be alone. So mm-hmm. I went in there and it was uh, actually uh, senior branch managers of banks. So there's a banking association that is invited. And I went in and I said, hi, I am Anand from Mega Memory. Those days, our company name used to be Mega Memory. So he said, okay, nice. Where is the trainer? So I said, I am the trainer. <laughs> I was like 17 years old and this guy said kid can I ask you your age Gupta Jit house ka naam. Mm-hmm. I said ha huh, I'm 17 and a half years old he asked me can you guess what's my experience in banking line mm-hmm. I said no he said I have more than 20 years of experience in banking line mm-hmm. I said wow that's amazing he said can you teach me mm-hmm. I said yeah that's what I think so anyway come here so mm-hmm. let me do the thing so until the tea break if you're not happy I'll go back early you mm-hmm. don't have to pay me anything so he liked that confidence. He said, okay, take it, go ahead. And then uh, in the first tea break, he came back and said, Guruji, ap, ap khatam karo din ka. I'm very happy with you. So, I mean, that was one thing which was like, uh, you know, validated. Like, you know, somebody who's that teacher right. said that, okay, I'm really happy with what you're teaching. So that was like, from there, it was no looking back, actually. Any interesting incident you remember from your early days? Yeah, this is the one. This this is one uh, major incident, which is not only I remember, it, it has, I think, uh, g- gave me a lot of confidence also to stand in front of people and talk about it. So what do you think memory? Is it something which is gifted or it can be learned or it can be acquired? This question is very important for me also, if I talk about me and does age matters or not? Okay, great. So one thing is memory is not a trait, it's a skill. Mm -hmm. So you have to build up the skill. Mm -hmm. Okay, so age doesn't really matter. And it may sound very rude. Oh, how can age doesn't matter? Then what about all the people we see? So let me tell you what I, how I look at it. It's very simple. One is like we grow in age, Mm -hmm. all the faculties of our body will you know, start giving in and you know, there'll be some kind of a problem like response rate will go down, eyesight will go down, you know, ability to smell here will go down. So ability to walk faster will go down and ability to hold on information may go down a bit, mm-hmm. but you are never crippled. You're never crippled. So that is like a general thing. So mm-hmm. because age, eye vision going on, it's not that people go blind and they're not able to handle it. Maybe mm-hmm. they might have a little more problem. That's all about it, but they will never be handicapped. And why this thing comes up is that, you know, we have always had the examples of absent-minded professor, old grandfather who has put the specs on his head and looking for the whole whole house, you know. Mm. Because of these examples, we always thought that, hey, with age, memory goes down. And if you ask me what exactly is working is, I believe that with age, my memory is going down because that's what I've been told. And because I believe my memory is not good, I will not try. Mm -hmm. because I don't try, I don't remember. 
and because i don't remember aise pata hai mujhe age ke wajah se na and they are not believing that that's a cycle nobody will ever come and say manna bhi shuru kar diya ki age ki wajah se i start forgetting things most of the people the same thing because they they will never come up and say hey i cannot remember because i never tried mm-hmm. they'll say i cannot remember because i'm old mm-hmm. apne try kiya kya that's one question which is like a big million dollar question so yeah right right so mr anand uh, what was happening earlier i also read such articles i don't know what people started writing and we started believing this is what happened i started reading that the thing you can do through tools why there is need to remember those things and from there we stopped remembering the phone numbers we stopped yes. calculating things in our mind because we have read those articles we have read those big books where it was written then when you can use your energy at some other thing then why to put up your energy in calculating things which could be done through calculator and which your uh, uh, tools can remember uh, for you you can store th- that data and you should put more of your mind on analytics or thinking and the mind has gone so much in thinking that it has become unnecessarily emotional which is not required at this point of time so what are your views on this absolutely i mean uh, this is not and you know there's an interesting statement which is tied into this mm-hmm. uh, and they say einstein i i'm not sure okay they say when i can uh, have uh, information at the fingertips why should i remember the stuff einstein Mm-hmm. and god knows whether einstein really said that or not i don't know <laughs> yes. okay yeah, ratan tata ka kuch dekha tha maine mm-hmm. and this is an interview then she was asking ratan tata ki i read some quote of yours uh, it says that i don't make uh, a wrong decision i i don't uh, think think about the decisions i, I first I take do. a decision and mm-hmm. then make it right no oh, yes ha huh. and then uh, and ratan tata that was the, so how did you come about that and you know what is that he said i never said that in my life i maybe still think that he said this <laughs> yeah so maybe einstein ka shayad aisa aa gaya hoga but i don't know but then my take i'll tell you so let's say for example you take some document okay and put it in a storage device assuming that it will never get virus it will never get burnt it is it is always there so take mm-hmm. it after 100 years you are mm-hmm. very very safe it's there yes i agree it's there mm-hmm. so let's take the second example you take one document and you feed it into your memory mm-hmm. after one year it will become enriched mm-hmm. not even after after one month it gets enriched everything you learn it will go and interact with that and that is where your creativity synthesis all these things will happen so the mind will have a platform to think about and whatever people are talking about analyticals or thinking when there's no platform to think what will they think mm-hmm. so the problem is the data don't interact with the data when you take some information put in the device it becomes data when you put the same information in the mind or the brain whatever you want to call it for now it becomes a knowledge knowledge can interact with other knowledge whereas data can never interact with data that's the first part second thing now let's talk about uh, i don't know how much you know about this uh, earlier there were there used to be numbers called as pp numbers mm-hmm. padosi phone bolte the a particular mm-hmm. person so we call them and say chame 10 minute ke baad mein call karo usko bulao the phone was a luxury that time and those days and for a very long time people used to remember lot of numbers mm-hmm. telephone numbers until the casio data bank has come in you know as in the market so people yeah. people used to remember a lot of stuff mm-hmm. and today i can tell you okay let me if i ask you this question of course you are the interviewer so what still i would like to I ask you this question remember two or three numbers exactly this is what happens with people people so don't sometimes have... i even forget my papa's number <laughs> not just you hmm. papa's number to that's a next level hmm. there are people who don't remember their own number <laughs> and i ask them why don't you remember your number they have a very good reason to say and then you know i heard ask a few people so uh, here they say oh this is my jio number are baba jio number hai ambani ji ka number thodi hai mm-hmm. it's your number you have to recharge it you have to know your number and second thing they come up and say ki oh i will never call myself ha 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> then then i i lost my phone then i lost somebody else what is my number <laughs> I, i mean this is what happens and uh, this one real incident which has happened there's this guy in delhi he went to a mall and the driver parked somewhere and he know where the driver is parked and then he went up and then when he was coming down he wanted to call the driver and he was typing and the phone went down and didn't start it didn't open again so okay koi baat nahi he went down the driver was not there 
then he wanted to call the driver oh dekha tha i mean 15 20 minute chakkar maar ke dekha driver was not there he might have gone to have some tea or whatever and then he said okay theek hai koi baat nahi let me uh, call the driver and then he realized he don't remember driver's number so what's the next alternative call home and ask the driver's number and he Happened realized that he did not know the house number he did not know his wife's number and daughter's number hmm isko call karna hai he got stuck and then what he did he requested somebody in the reception to book an uber he went back home in the tech, cab wahan se call karte driver ko aap aa jao bolte sir main to yahan par hu pata hai aap wahan par hai main itna wo dusre bande ke sath mein aa gaya agar and this this is a real thing which has happened this kind of instance happen with people but they still don't realize that it is very very important to remember at least i am not saying become a phone directory but at least emergency number five numbers you can reach you know that, that's important yeah right what kind of services you are providing to people like what kind of courses are there for what age how one can start why we came to know that this skill is very important and earlier we don't realize it but later on in our life we always realize when we are if we cross the age of 30 35 we definitely realize that this skill we have not built up because this is a rare skill so how you have organized services so that more people can benefit out of it okay. how will you manage the scale of your customers all right got it so uh, uh, coming back to what i do basically my first love is memory i've always been into memory all my life mm-hmm. so it's now 26 years i am dealing with memory mm-hmm. but then uh, 10 12 years back i realized that focus is more important mm-hmm. so i started working on focus so my primary offering which i do is like there are three things which i talk about the first thing i talk about is focus second thing i talk about is memory third thing i talk about is reading and learning Mm-hmm. and that's all about it and i always say with due respect to all the skills is that if you have luxury of only working on one skill in your life work on focus mm-hmm. not even on memory work on focus the reason is if you're focused it doesn't matter whether i'm mixing coffee talking to somebody making a photo shoot or you know performing a surgery driving car it doesn't matter an extra layer of focus will make your life better so focus is very very important and if you have luxury of working on two skills you have to work on first is focus the second one is memory mm-hmm. the reason is that memory becomes a raw material of life mm-hmm. whether you are learning guitar or you are learning a new language you got to remember that's a raw material and i think personally that memory is the only real asset you accumulate in your life mm-hmm. now, of course the money all the things are there that's fine but mm-hmm. the memory is the only real asset why i say this is you minus your memory you can't even answer that question mm-hmm. you are what you are because of the memories you carry and that's that important but people don't talk about it it's like it has become like weather oh mujhe na ye yaad karna easy hai main na ye yaad nahi kar pata hu kya kar sakte hain uske bare mein kuch nahi kar sakte mm-hmm. that's the mindset we'll talk about that again so third one is reading and learning because that becomes the fastest mm-hmm. route to achieve something in life so these are the only three things i talk about and i very proudly say i don't deal anything else and i don't leave anything in these three things so i'm like in depth i deal with all these three things where people get extraordinary result so coming back to how i uh, the target group or uh, i work with business owners and professionals mm-hmm. and i work with uh, people who are preparing for competitive exams mm-hmm. or professional exams somebody doing their ca somebody preparing for icw or you know people preparing for civils so those are the people i can really add value to them and of course i do work with uh, students as well when i work with students i don't talk about memory interestingly i only talk about learning and focus in fact memory is counterproductive for students in high school mm-hmm. they should not memorize they have to learn so that is what i help them to that so this is in a nutshell yeah so who were your like best of the learners from you oh okay so in fact uh, the world's youngest national memory champion is my participant mm-hmm. so i have trained him and he has become the world's youngest national champion and he has become also the indian national champion for memory mm-hmm. now why i'm saying that is because anybody can do it it's not about dna or genes or only few people can do it now when always when i say that you know my brother is into this my dad was into this i am doing this so, ah it's in the genes Mm-hmm. no it's not in the genes it's a skill it, it looks like you know kai bar humko ye mil jata na examples koi koi doctor hai 
तो उसका फैमिली में हर लोग डॉक्टर ही होता है मतलब ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स आर डॉक्टर्स दे आर मदर डॉक्टर मदर्स रिलेटिव्स आर डॉक्टर फादर डॉक्टर फादर एवरीवन इज डॉक्टर एंड द चांसेस दैट समबडी न्यू बीइंग बोर्न इन द हाउस विल बिकम अ डॉक्टर बट देन दे डिड नॉट बिकम अ डॉक्टर बिकॉज ऑफ द लीनियज और पेरेंट पेरेंट्स बट दे बिकेम डॉक्टर बिकॉज ऑफ द एको सिस्टम from morning to evening they are all listening the medical terms they are talking about the case they are listening about the blood test they are listening about the diseases that's what what is easier for them to handle mm-hmm. so that's what they get it so it's a skill but then you have to do a degree to become a doctor so it will not pass through the generation it might look like ki acha father uh, doctor hai to beta bhi doctor ban gaya mm-hmm. this is thodi hoga because it's a skill अच्छा फादर का राइट हैंड एक्टिव है बेटा का राइट हैंड हो सकता है बिकॉज इट्स जेनेटिक बट स्किल्स में यू हैव टू एक्चुअली अपग्रेड यू मेट हैव काइंड ऑफ एडवांटेज अ बेट बट यू स्टिल हैव टू रियली वर्क ऑन दैट सो दैट्स हाउ आई लुक एट इट या Right. At last, I would like to ask, what are your tips so that uh, we can take care of our brain? We could have good memory. So, basic tips, if you can give us. Yeah. Uh. Right. Super. Thank you so much for asking this question. In fact, there are tools and techniques is one part. Mm-hmm. The first part is basic understanding. Mm-hmm. So let me just uh, spend a couple of minutes on basic understanding and maybe one or two tips that will help uh, everybody actually. Now, the first thing, uh, if you see why this problem is coming up in life, is because with due respect to everybody again. neither in the house nor in the school people have no conversation or formal training about how to remember how to read how to learn how to focus no the only thing they say is isko pad lena isko yaad rakhna iske upar focus karo ye padho ye likho mm-hmm. kaise karna hai nobody talks about it i was 23 years old i was in malaysia i had a problem in my tooth so i went to the doctor dentist mm-hmm. and this guy asked me anand how do you brush your teeth I said, Doc, I am twenty-three years old. He said, You're twenty-three, sixty. It doesn't matter. Answer the question. I said, Okay. Then I said, What do I do? I mean, how to answer this? He said, How do you brush your teeth? I said, You want me to act and show? He said, Yeah. I said, Okay. I said, I brush like this. Mm-hmm. Then he said, Stop there. He said, That's exactly how you're not should not be brushing. Mm-hmm. First time in my life, somebody told me that you want to brush like this, not like this. Mm-hmm. 23 years old now why i'm talking about this is people do things but they don't even know whether they're doing it right or wrong because there's no professional guidance mm-hmm. now why the parents have not taught us or the teachers are not talking about it because their parents their teachers have talked about it mm-hmm. simple si baat hai so we can't find fault with anybody but the fact remains we have never been taught i, I mean i'm sure you might have heard in your childhood please pay attention mm-hmm. have you heard but how many times have you been told how to pay attention no. nobody talks about it ye yaad karna kaise karna hai one very prof- very so called professional advice is beta isko na char bar pad lena yaad ho jayega mm-hmm. suna hoga na apne i mean this is like a very normal thing char bar pad lo yaad ho jayega and these are the kind of advice which people get but they don't really work because you have to have the basic understand so now let me talk about the tips and for that i have to uh, we have to talk about the mistake which people do there are few grave mistakes which do people do in terms of memory mm-hmm. first mistake people think memory is automatic kyunki main sun raha hu kyunki main samajh raha hu mujhe yaad hona chahiye mm-hmm. automatic hai na agar utna automatic hoga to everybody would become a, you know ias officer everybody would remember everything they listen and everything they pay attention to right it doesn't work like that just because i'm listening i'm not qualified to remember Now, what is very important, which people miss out, is that before you remember or before you do the activity, you have to have an active intent. Mm-hmm. Having a desire is good. Oh, I have a desire to remember everybody's name. Okay, but do I have active intent at the time of activity? So, a quick question for you, because you said something about the names, I want to ask you, and through you, it's like for everybody actually. So, you said you have some problem with names, and let me tell you, you are not alone. you ask 10 people about uh, what's their major problem nine would say names and mm-hmm. people like you are in limelight they have major problem because mm-hmm. people remember you because you are on the stage and we don't remember somebody we mm-hmm. meet even for the third time exactly uh, because you have like lot of people see yeah. you yeah but then one question for you is how many times when you met new people did you tell yourself 
I want to remember this person's name mm-hmm. consciously. No, I don't tell because okay. I am ready to meet another four people in the same day. <laughs> so no, can... but still it's okay. But just okay before meeting, I want to remember this guy's name. I want to remember this lady's name. If you don't say that, you know what is happening internally. You have not decided. अगर आपने मुझे हायर कर लिया एग्जाम्पल के लिए और बोलेंगे अनंत आपका ये सीट है यहाँ पर आपका लैपटॉप है चलो यहाँ बैठो काम करो बट यू नेवर टोल्ड मी वॉट टू डू वॉट यू एक्सपेक्ट मी टू डू सॉलिटेयर कोई काम ही नहीं ना आई डू सॉलिटेयर आई डू सम गेम आई ब्राउज बिकॉज आई नो बेटर वर्क ऑन द प्लान यू नेवर टोल्ड मी वॉट टू डू वेन यू आर नॉट इवन टेलिंग यूर ब्रेन आई वॉन्ट टू रिमेंबर दिस नंबर आई वॉन्ट टू रिमेंबर दिस नेम द ब्रेन हैज नॉट बीन एंगेज दर इज नो डिसीशन मेड If there's no decision made, they will not get any result. So first thing is to have an intent. Mm-hmm. The second mistake which people say is this happens because of again advice is that people think memory is input intensive. Four times under dalo na, apko solid ban ke raega. So let's say Pythagoras theorem, Newton's laws of motion. So pehle baar, dusri baar, tisri baar, chauthi baar, so okay, concrete ban gaya. ठीक है मान के चलते कि हो गया काम हुआ इसका. But then you know what when you go into an examination hall. The question is, can you recall the Pythagoras theorem or Newton's laws of motion? Now, what are you typically tested to bring out the information? Mm-hmm. And what are you doing all the life? Practicing putting in. Mm-hmm. They are suddenly testing on pulling out. So the game has changed completely. It is like you know, I'm practicing for cycling for the last four years, and when I qualify in Olympics, I go and participate in swimming. It's a different game altogether. so memory is not input intensive it is output intensive to aap kitne bar bahar bahar nikalenge recall karenge utna memory aapka bada hoga so one statement i want everybody to understand remember is any failure of memory is basically a failure of recall mm-hmm. right now one question having said that one question for you is when is the last time you sat down with yourself and told acha thoda recall kar lete aaj recall ka practice karte hain aaj Have you ever done that? No. Just like guitar artist, hoga, bolenge, acha, aaj thoda guitar practice kar lete hain. Aaj thoda cricket practice kar lete hain. Aaj thoda na maths practice kar lete hain. Kabi log na bite ke nahi bolte ki, chalo aaj thoda recall practice kar lete hain. Because they assume it is automatic. So what is happening is our ability to pull out the information has not been activated or trained. So one of the most simple steps to go. One week, if you want to memory 10x, ho jana chahiye. I'll tell you simple, simple thing, very simple thing. You'll be amazed. So there are few things which you can do. Practice recall. Mm-hmm. So there are couple of ways in which you can practice recall. One I call it as uh, instant recall. Mm-hmm. So let's say you are talking to a client. Mm-hmm. A client calling. My name is Rahul. Hai. So I am Chandigarh. So example. Pe. Whatever is the discussion, right? So okay, you are Chandigarh. Say Rahul. Okay. So reiterate the content in your own words. So you go to a customer and say, okay, this bottle is two hundred rupees, and I have got only five hundred pieces of that. So then you can. just say the same thing in other words it is not about just uh, it, it's a very important mindset training isme kya hoga kya ho raha na you are telling your mind hello listen what i am talk what he is talking listen now you got to recall it nahi to kya hoga main aapse baat kar raha hu at the same time i'm thinking are amazon ka delivery aayega to kon lega <gasps> payment hi nahi aaya banda payment nahi kiya oh my god tomorrow i have a powerpoint i have a meeting uska powerpoint hi nahi bana so what you are saying might not even get into my head but if i have this ki acha mujhe recall karna hai the moment i have that so my mind is in the present moment first the second time i make recall the first recall is always difficult and always uh, critical mm-hmm. but log kya karte hai na recall is always done in the war zone mm-hmm. recall of safe zone mein karna chahiye when you are learning right now you recall right now agar aap abhi recall nahi kar sakte ek hafte ke baad mein to bhul hi jao Hmm. If you cannot recall now, you cannot recall later. So, hmm. abhi check karna. Turan tha to hath. So that's like instant recall. The second thing I talk about is uh, event recall. Our life has many events. Hota hai. Like an interview happening. That's an event for me. Or I walk the dog. Or you have a meal in Haldi Ram. Hmm. But event ho gaya. Apne party gaya. Kuch conversation hua. After the event, when you're walking towards the car, when you're uh, just sitting down, ab ek bar ye puchho ki kya hua tha? What happened? Then try to recall that. तो इसमें क्या होता ना इट इज अ ट्रेनिंग फॉर द माइंड टू बी इन द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट फर्स्ट थिंग इट्स रिक्वायरमेंट जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन फॉर द माइंड टू आप उसको पकड़ो कलेक्ट करो एंड देन यू आर आल्सो सेइंग रिकॉल करो सो द कंप्लीट साइकिल इज कंप्लीटेड इन दैट 
So the the other one which I do, which I'm doing for the last 25 years, and I create all my memory focus to that is I call it as day recall. Like end of the day, chronological order में आप अपना दिन का वीडियो चलावा. Chronological order is very important. You miss few things, heavens don't fall loose. But just try to do it in the chronological order, and you'll be amazed. अगर आप शायद आज पहले बार ट्राई करेंगे ना, you'll be surprised. Maybe you'll not be able to recall 20, 30 percent. Hmm. In spite of being aware, तो क्या होगा अब नाइट में आप रिकॉल करेंगे देने से ऐसा कैसे हो गया? So tomorrow onwards your mind will start behaving, hmm. then because it has got a job to be done. Right. नाइट में मंदी पूछेगा कि भैया क्या हुआ है? Hmm. So it has got a response, it has got a job role. Otherwise the mind will be thinking कि अच्छा उसमें वो flavour coffee आया है, अच्छा पता नहीं ये ये पार्टी में ये हो रहा है, वो हो रहा है. I mean it has got two hundred things let me tell you. Right. But when the mind is running everywhere, if there is no job description, you can't expect things to work. So mm-hmm. recall training is the most simplest way of activating without even going for the tools. Mm-hmm. Of course, there are a lot of tools available. But ये भी set कर लिया ना, you'll be proud of your memory. I can guarantee you that. So these three things: so instant recall, day recall, and the event recall. This is like the basic stuff you can start doing from right today. Mm-hmm. and uh, about writing i would just want to share something there are a lot of people who say ki even though i am writing why i am not able to remember mm-hmm. the thing is what you are doing really doesn't matter like as a memory trainer i mean this is very comedy to listen but then it is again reality when i do memory programs and focus programs and i do both also sometimes so when i do a memory program i say hey why are you writing it's a memory program for god's sake please try to remember mm-hmm. save earth don't write But when somebody comes to my focus program, I say, "Hey, for God's sake, why are you not writing? Please write down." <laughs> and then the people attend both say, "Lande aaja the. Ye kya hai? Wahan to waise bataya." The context is different. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you like why writing and uh, what what I mean by what you do is not important. Why you do is important. Is like for example, let's say I go and kill somebody mm-hmm. by making thirty seven stabs on them. Mm-hmm. So I should be. Probably hang to death or you know lifetime at least mm-hmm. because I've killed. But then in reality, that is not what happens. Mm-hmm. I could be even given a bravery medal by the president of India. Mm-hmm. What I did doesn't matter. Why I did is what will attract the result. Mm-hmm. Right. So when you are writing, it doesn't matter whether you write to why what you are doing. It doesn't matter why you are writing. Are you writing because you are scared that you will forget? Mm-hmm. then god bless you you will be definitely forgetting mm-hmm. but if you are writing because you want to organize yourself and you are writing because you have active alignment then you will remember so writing is not bad and for those people who just write there's one question you have to ask themselves is that you know this is a very eye opening kind of a question is that you know a lot of people they want to go to shop and say get 10 things on the market dekho na paper uthao likho leke jao and because it's one of the least value task Right, it is not a. You don't have to really go here. So you can send somebody also. Paper, banana, give them. And then people say, "Why I'm not able to remember? Uh, why are, if I ask them, why are you making this list? They would say, 'I'm helping my memory.' Mm-hmm. And what they are not realizing is, they are not helping their memory. They are harming their memory to a point of beyond repair. <laughs> the reason is when you write down because of whatever intention you are writing down, you are telling your brain." I have more trust on this sheet of paper than what I have on you. The brain says, "Go ahead, no problem." And if you write, you will. The brain will not even make an attempt to remember. Example: If I ask you, "Ah, Mandir ji, your number is what? Oh, three one nine one two one four six eight two." Okay, okay. And I have not even made an effort because my num- my phone can remember that. And the most amazing part, which you can try, and even the audience can try themselves, is that when you go to phone book. And you will see at least a hundred names. Sauro Madan, who is this guy? Yes. Who is this guy? <laughs> yeah, and you can't, you don't know. And the best part is, you want to see the DP. His ka kya hai? You go to WhatsApp and see the DP. Hanuman ji ka photo hoga wahan par. I mean, so you yourself have entered the number, but you don't know why you because there is no conscious effort. Acha, ab bol do, me save kar de. Ho gaya. and i don't even know that aapka number bhi hai aapko 6 mahine ke baad milunga na acha aapka number de do na 
देन यू से ओके लेट मी डायल द नंबर यू विल कॉल माय यू विल रिंग द नंबर मंदीप आएगा यहां पर ऐसा अच्छा अच्छा मैं सेव कर लिया आई कांट से कि मेरे पास में है द बट द होल आईडिया इज दैट यू नो व्हेन यू राइट डाउन आस्क योरसेल्फ अ सिंपल क्वेश्चन लाइक इफ आई एम नॉट विलिंग टू और नॉट एबल टू ट्रस्ट माय मेमोरी फॉर फाइव थिंग्स आई हैव टू गेट फ्रॉम द मार्केट व्हाट कैन आई एक्सपेक्ट इट टू बी दैट्स अ इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन बट यू नो कैपेसिटी में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है इट्स अबाउट द बिलीफ सिस्टम इट्स अबाउट प्रैक्टिस एंड जो मिस्टेक्स करते हैं ना जो रिकॉल नहीं करते उसके वजह से मेमोरी का प्रॉब्लम होता है सो दैट इज इन या राइट सो एट लास्ट व्हाट इज योर मैसेज फॉर द ऑडियंस लिसनिंग टू यू ग्रेट फर्स्ट थिंग इज नेवर एवर टेल योरसेल्फ एंड अदर्स दैट यू हैव अ मेमोरी प्रॉब्लम और अ फोकस प्रॉब्लम सेकंड थिंग इज हैव एन इंटेंट थर्ड थिंग इज प्लीज रियलाइज दैट इट्स अ स्किल एंड स्किल के लिए आप कुछ काम करेंगे तो ही रिजल्ट आएगा एंड इट डजेंट गेट अपडेटेड ऑटोमेटिकली एंड वन लास्ट थिंग इज माई पर्सनल बिलीफ वेरी पर्सनल बिलीफ इज दैट एवरीबडी शुड बिलीव इधर इन गॉड और इन नेचर दोनों में से कम से कम एक आई बिलीव इन बोथ दैट्स माई पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम बट एटलीस्ट एक को बिलीव करना मेरे हिसाब से इफ यू डोंट बिलीव इन गॉड यू कैन से ओके गॉड के पास में जूम का पासवर्ड नहीं है उसको बाहर करते कोई इशू नहीं है नो प्रॉब्लम बट देन देन बिलीव इन नेचर but then if you believe either in one of them please understand neither the god nor the nature will ever create a substandard product ho hi nahi sakta it's just that maybe we are not using it to the level it has to be done maybe we did not develop that skill set practice nahi kiya yeah we simply ignore it ignoring it but then we cannot say that i am not enough is not done at least in the mind frame and you might have heard people saying on an average you are not even using 10% of the brain power so we'll not you know uh, get into a discussion about it but even if somebody says 50% or 60% you still have a lot to go on but let me tell you on 5% is a big cry but mm-hmm. even if somebody has used 50% 50% is still available so just realize that you are actually good there's no problem but then do some work on that so that's my simple advice or you know yeah right so thank you so much mr anand uh, it was wonderful talking to you i would like to have more sessions with you on this show so that we can go a bit deeper into it thank you thank you for the opportunity for helping me give my thoughts to the people thank you so much yeah bye so ye the mr anand and we had episode with him at mandeep kaur tanga show and it was a wonderful episode i think we have learned new things today we can explore new area of memory and focus in uh, our life and thank you so much for watching mandeep kaur tanga show